last time on Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? Uh, lava? If it stinks, Oz, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Oh, we. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Marshall. That was very informative. <laughs> and now... Hello! It is I, the Nugget, back with more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time, we did the trial ladder. The second part of the trial that I didn't know about. But we did it, and we were introduced to the jolly fellow of... Damon Gant, who I'm sure has nothing to do with anything at all. In fact, I don't even think he's going to show back up. Nope, that was it. He was here for day two trial ladder. Won't see him again. Nothing to do with the case. Anyway, after, you know, blaming Edra for everything, it's time to investigate one more time. Probably not the last time either. But let's figure out if it's really Edra's fault. It's actually not, but you know. It's kind of funny that's all his fault. February 23rd, 2.15 p.m., writing call offices. Uh, um, Mr. Wright, so... What? What's going on with the case anyway? Are you... What? You have short-term memory loss? I I'm a little confused. Huh? Well, um, let's see. What is going on? Why, why am I actually like this is the first time? Oh, right. <laughs> the victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. Maybe they're twins. I don't know. What's this in the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. I mean, is there two bodies? I, I don't understand. Well, that's what we're going to find out, or try to at least. Alright, let's do it! Glad she's in good spirits, so I'm not sure she's going to be much help with it. <laughs> uh, that's as usual. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Did, what? Did I say that out loud? I thought it was in my head. Huh? Did you just read my mind? Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that these thick room classes of mine are just for show. Let's go! Science awaits us! I don't know. I think I like it better when we were summoning the dead to help us. February 23rd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. What? <laughs> there wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, first of all, that, no, Emma, I think we need to worry about it a little bit. Second, if there's no body, at the police department, is, shouldn't we assume that maybe he was killed there and then moved here? Because there's no witness to the stabbing now. It was only that lady. Why? Ugh, whatever. Yeah, it was only our victim who was killed in there in this room. No biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. That oil drum, was it empty? The oil drum kicked over, but the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. I wonder if we'll run into her. Do you think she'll be upset at us? My sister erasing evidence of the crime scene? Never. She probably did it, but she didn't erase evidence. She would give in to our crime. Even though she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. Yeah, you have a sister complex. That's not it at all. Okay, I definitely said that in my mind. She's reading my mind. It's just... We're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Are you being hit? <laughs> okay, well, okay. Any words for a high school student? Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. What are you gonna do, huh? What's that grin for? The situation calls for one thing, and that is luminol testing fluid. Luminol? Oh my god, this exists. <laughs> Blood is sticky stuff, you know? You can't just wash it away with a little water. 
Even if you can't see it, it's still there. Oh god, don't put that on my pants. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? You think the pol- Really, Phoenix? You really think the police did anything? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Just give it a try. Me? Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink it. <laughs> what? We're testing blood stains with this stuff. I'm not drinking it. Here, look. I'll lend you my these glasses. Huh? You had an extra pair of those things? Oh. Whoa. To test for a blood reaction, just spray the luminol on it. Like this, see? Uh, okay. Press enter to spray it on. What are you talking about? What is enter? Emma, what are you talking about? Okay, let's find her some blood stains. What? Oh, actually, just spray it. Uh, here. Well, I found three, four droplets. Seems uh, a little low for being stabbed to death here. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So, is this a blood stain or a cum stain? I don't know. Uh, it's so. Uh. Emma, you're shaking. It's just, this is my first time seeing real blood. <laughs> You've never had a nosebleed in your life? Scientific investigation and action. Okay. Oh, we definitely know that this is a blood stain. But doesn't something strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. Uh. That there's so little? What's odd about this, scientifically? The amount of blood. The perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Do you think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so. They had an epic battle here. I mean, look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. Oh my goodness, I wonder what could have happened. If only there was another place where it was claimed that he died. That'd be, that'd be insane. I wouldn't know, though. If they fought here, there'd have to be. There'd have to have been more blood than this. Uh, hey, Mr. Wright. What? I'm gonna mark up the floor plans when we find a blood stain, okay? Sure. See? I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Yeah, you can't summon the dead, though. I bet the dead would have been able to tell me that. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this is pretty handy, too. I saved up, all I saved up my allowance to buy that. Expensive is this? Lumaltezin fluid received. Alright. Can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to imagine evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Or they just don't investigate at all. Literally, I'm the only investigator here. No one strike that hidden evidence out into the light of day. Yeah! Feels like we're really investigating crime now, doesn't it? Damn right. This should give us a spray on anything suspicious. Ah! Oh god. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Hey, no hard feelings, right? I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Miss Star, you only trust your own eyes, and you're not bad, you do. Ooh, that looks yummy. This day old deli box is on the house. I will take it. Wait, is it laced with anything? <laughs> Sorry, just that kind of lead in doesn't really get my mouth watering. Do I have to talk to you? Are we friends? <laughs> You certainly put me in a tight spot here today. Uh, my apologies, Miss Star, but maybe you should have fucking lied. No, no, it's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't taking the blame. You still suck. I witnessed everything from that security room right there. Oh, if only you started with that. But I was afraid that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry, you lied on the witness stand. It's unforgivable. Yeah, you should just die now. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the place I witnessed the event from was different, I still saw what I saw. Yeah, we'll see about that. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. Yeah, we'll prove it wrong. Don't come back up to the stand, though. Ah, uh, I swear to my honor as a detective, she stabbed Goodman. Maybe it was an imposter. I don't know. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? Alright. You're still a detective? Did you be demoted? Have you been tried with perjury yet? So you were a detective, weren't you, Mistar? 
Yes, it was a long time ago. Well, two years ago, just like everything else. No matter how hard in the criminal when they faced me. They coughed it up. <laughs> that is... That is the dumbest phrase <laughs> to get it. Your nickname sucks. Coughed it up. It confessed. They babble like babies. You know, I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I drank the dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. And before long they called me... The Cough Up Queen. Oh, what a... What a magnificent story for a magnificent nickname. Oh, and here I thought someone had gone food poisoning from your lunches. And you were let go? Or fired? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if these prim and proper prosecutors had let me go, I'd still be one today. It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. Oh, oh. It's gonna be connected to everything. Literally everyone we've ever met is gonna be connected to it. I know it. SL9. Wait, she doesn't mean I can't. Do you wanna talk about it? Ugh. <laughs> Can I present this to you? What tell me. Um, what do you think? Oh, okay. Oh. I thought it was a generic response. Never mind. The SL9 is doing it. It's written on that knife. And on that note. Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know? Oh, what a coincidence. What a little coinky dink. Really? That knife was evidence from that case, the murder weapon. It was due for transferal the very day that Goodman was killed. As I suspected, this online isn't over. Not yet. You wanna tell me what it's about? Just, uh, help a bro out. Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? Uh... Oh, I guess I should talk to her. First I had to push my butt- Oh, what? But where's my butt? <laughs> I have to present the goddamn knife? What do you want from me, lady? Oh, I can present this to you? I had one of those up until two years ago. Yeah, I don't care about what happened. I had when you were the cough-up queen, right? I found this ID card here in this parking lot. Well, there's no mistaking that. It's definitely Goodman's. I can see that. It literally has his name and picture on it. But it's the same idea as the man who was killed at the police department. That's impossible. I wish I could be so sure. A body with Edward's knife stuck in it was found in Edward's car. I know. I just... I, I attended the trial, you stupid. I think he owes me his gratitude. Gratitude? Why, if I hadn't witnessed the crime, Mr. Andrew would have been the suspect again. <laughs> I would have <laughs> had to defend him again. I would have got him off. Hmm, I wonder. Still, it's strange. Why didn't our chief prosecutor have her own murder weapon ready? I wonder. It was when I grabbed the chief prosecutor on the shoulder. Oh, damn. What is this? Why didn't we see this in court? She dropped that phone on the pavement. That's when you heard her talk about the muffler, right? Little did I know it was a trap. The red car's muffler, the prosecutor's red muffler. What was Miss Kai really trying to say, I wonder? Well, she's talking to Emma, right? She was probably trying to tell her where the the muffler was? Or where she put the knife? Why'd you want Emma to go? Oh. If you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room. But even I get flustered sometimes. So you went straight to the scene of the crime? I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. You had a backflip over that shit. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes are the whole problem. The hole in my testimony, as it were. Yeah, good thing you lied about it. Five minutes weren't the problem, Star. You lying was the problem. Listen, little girl. <laughs> Listen here, you little shit. I've had my testimony disregarded before. And I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. 
Just like that time two years ago. I'm going to hurt you people. That time. Oh my god, I could probably talk to you about it. That incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable to who? Two years ago. It was the biggest case I'd ever handled. Damn, everyone's on board. What we got here? Wait. Sorry, huh? Who's at the bottom left? There's her, Goodman, the bub. Uh, I forget his name. Uh, what? <laughs> see my core record. <laughs> Jake Marshall. Uh, damn gang star. Okay. Who's the bottom left? Is that not him? Wait, I see. Is there two people? I'm confused. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So they didn't solve it? On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Ah, uh, let's go, America. Executed? Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was, they never did find decisive evidence, not a shred. What? The criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of a sort, made up evidence. Damn. What? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? Let's go, Merc. <laughs> the best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. And others dead? A and you were one of those? Myself and one other person you know well. Wait, could it be? Exactly, Detective Jake Marshall. Oops, I mean Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. Detective Marshall? As professional detectives, we investigate the case from every angle. Who's at the bottom left? He looks the same as Jake, except I think Jake has longer hair or something. What is this flashback? Why am I seeing people I don't know? Jake was particularly determined, and then it was over, and he was demoted to get wrecked. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. You haven't forgotten this online? There was another side to that case, a hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Are you sure about that? Wait, th those lunches you sell? There's only one reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet old friends, boyfriends that can help me investigate. I can help you investigate. Miss Star's old boyfriends, I mean, does she have any? <laughs> uh, I don't think I want to know the answer. Just when all the detectives on SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a con connection. So, rookie. What? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yes, it is my job, and no one else does it, so... Then you should take this! Ooh, I'll take it. Uh, Salisbury Steak Lunch? I know a certain guy you might- who might help you if you tempt him with his treat! <laughs> is this- is this my bait to get into the evidence room? He's not even there, though. He better be there. For putting Officer Marshall in a good mood. <laughs> uh, Miss Star? Officer Marshall, is he, uh... Is he your, uh... Are you his? Have you done it in the bed? Are you g g g going? <laughs> Ew, cooties! What do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. <laughs> what? And he was nice to me too back then. This would be when Officer Marshall detected. But now, now he's so cold. Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I, I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Hmm. Alright, I guess we will not talk about that person in the picture. Oh, there's blood here. How do I... Uh, investigate. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's... That's probably blood from her hand, right? This blood must be from when Lana 
No, my sister is the murderer. I would not say that. She did call you, didn't she? At the time of the crime. And her right hand is bandaged. Hey, just which side are you on? I'm just stating facts, Emma. This has nothing to do with taking sides. So this means that man's hand had blood on it. This just keeps getting worse. All right, I'm glad I looked at that. Crazy stuff over here. Oh, someone else is dead. Third 23rd Police Department. Entrance. This place is charged with frantic energy as always. Please. Huh? Wasn't that? One stay nudge, please. Oh, would you? <laughs> Ted of Gumshoe? You haven't been here in this whole case. What have you been doing? Now it's time for chit chat, pal. I'm a busy man. What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunch Lane. No. 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 This is for Jake. I need to get into the Evans room. Unless you can get me to the Evans room, we're not getting this. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. Oh. <laughs> I think I just heard the sound of his heart breaking. Now's no time for despair. We've got our criminal. Oh, we just need evidence. The criminal? You mean... You heard about the stabbing in the police department Evans room, right, pal? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's me. On the same day, the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot. Another detective was killed at the police department. Question mark. I'm the perpetrator. Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. He's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything tops and turns and turvy. But to Deb Gumshoe, who was it? This is about all I know is I need to be, be a stay on pronto. Go get yourself on. I'm busy. Standing around here talking isn't going to fill my belly. Wait, don't leave! If you want to know more, head on down to the detention center now. The question should be over, so I figured he's down there having a good cry. Uh-oh. Later. I don't want to cry to a... I mean, talk to a crying suspect. It makes me not want to help them. He ran off to the evidence room. Oh, well, this investigation is off to a running start. Nice one, Phoenix. Nice one. Uh... Are you here? No. No, you're not. All right, I guess to the detention center. <laughs> God damn it! God damn, we're just running around this whole world. Where's the detention center? How do I get there? Oh, February twenty third, detention center. Visitors robe. Still, I do feel better about things a little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Yeah, Lana. Uh, yeah, I guess they did. Let's not go too far, uh, down that road right now. Things will just get confusing. Yeah, whatever that was. Ween. What was that? Sir, that's what I'm saying. Me, a perpetrator. I I'd say I was the perpetrator again, sir. That's what I'd say. Is it Meekins? It is Meekins. <laughs> he is the... <laughs> God damn it, Meekins. I knew you were a killer. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Green, sir. Wait, I know who you are. Excuse me, but is Mr. Hedger the anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the quest of the chief, sir. I've your word, sir. Officer Meekins, is there a guard here at the tent center? Or is he a- no. No, sir, I'm not, sir. A little lost patrolman like a little lost lab, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report. No, I killed a bitch. No, sir, I, uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't, is he? He's a bona fide killer. You, Officer Meekins, you didn't, did you? Per Perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir. How come they let you keep everything? Do you still have your gun on you? Do you even get guns? What? Now, this is unexpected turn of events. Yeah, uh... You're, I just realized your hand's in your two. Just like Lana. Why? What? Are you two, like, intertwined through the soul or something? Are your souls connected? Sir, I'm a patrolman with General Affairs, sir, sir. Ow. I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some business that day, sir, and so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the evidence room? Really? Every time I've gone there, he's not there. And apparently he wasn't there for you either. Does he have a job? That's right, sir, because the evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Now the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. Uh, Marshall? Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. 
That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the event's room. So I stabbed him. <laughs> suspicious person, sir. I killed him immediately. A suspicious person. Oh, no, no, no. What is happening? Stop. Stop moving. Stop doing that. What the heck is this guy doing? I don't know, but I want to leave. So what happened then? He, he looks like an SCP, honestly. After that, sir, I... I everything went white. I saw red. Blacked out. I stabbed someone. <laughs> what do you mean? When I came to, I was here in the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Um, might I ask, what happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand. Just like Lana. Maybe they're the same person. A bandage on his hand, just like Miss Sky. Yet another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. First things first. Tell us how you hurt your hand. Uh, actually, first me first, tell us about your victim. Um, I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Goddamn right I did. Sir, please don't look down at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir. If you have to label me as a perpetrator victim, sir, label me victim. Um, I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive and well at that, which means you must have killed him. Oh, uh, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you can say that. Do you know the victim of Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger or a total stranger, I'd say he leads heavily on the total stranger side. Thanks. You could just said that. So you didn't know him. Sir, I work in a tiny department, devoid of light or other creature <laughs> creature comforts. <laughs> I don't know any detectives. I don't have any friends. I don't know a single person. So if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? <laughs> yeah, why why did you kill him then? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir. None. Nor do I have any recollection of killing him, sir. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. Alright, now you can tell me about your bandage hand. But your hand, did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir, I heard. Don't you think you should just confess? But, sir, sir, but there was nothing I could do. Nothing you could do? Sorry to tell the truth, sir, what had happened. When the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir. Then I turned it back on him and gave him a good stabbing. The next thing I knew, I was unconscious. The next thing you knew, you were... Huh? Are you Edgeworth? Then, when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the entrance, sir. All alone. Alone because the detective Goodman had disappeared. What? Then when I looked out, I was gushing blood from my head, sir. All the shock, all the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? Victim's body disappeared. Hmm. Well, good thing this stupid idiot doesn't remember a goddamn thing. How useless can you be? Hmm. That's some story. Uh. Um, do you think you could take a look at this? Hey, that's it, sir. That's it. That's it. That what? That's what? Shut up! My head was a blank until this very moment. Oh, good. Thank God I presented you that. The flashback. But, sir, now I remember. I remember, sir. You mean, you remember what happened? Correct. That card, that card was the cause of it all. This ID card? Exactly, sir. That's exactly it. Nothing could be more exact, sir. Nothing. Better pry into this a little deeper. Alright, what the- What are you talking about, you silly goose? Can you tell me what it is you do remember? Well, so you might say I'm a little, a lost little patrolman, a lost little lamb, if you will. <laughs> a small baby lost in the woods, naked as the day. I didn't know Mr. Ted of Goodman who was in Levin's room. And that's why you thought he looked suspicious? Okay, so Goodman, he saw Goodman on the, the monitor, and then went in, and then stabbed <laughs> So I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. <laughs> That's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked to have a good man to show his ID card. What did he do? <laughs> he reached into his pocket and then I stabbed him. That's the thing. Suddenly he pointed a knife at me. What? Sir, I assure you I was as flustered as you, you are right now. So I whooped and leapt at him. <laughs> then I've come and pointed a knife at him. Goodman, did you lose to this guy? You had a knife. How? Do, 
do unto others before they do unto you. My own father's words. <laughs> uh, Meekins. Uh, I don't think you should stab someone just because they pointed a knife at you. What happened then? Well, why I say everything went white? When I woke, I was here. Right. Alright, reason for arrest. So, Officer Meekins, why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. I mean, they probably saw... Oh. Yeah, should they have seen Goodman threatening you with a knife? Now, Officer Meekins didn't know the head of Goodman. The victim whom he met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared from the Evans room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir. That, that's what I wanted to say. That is, I did say something along those lines. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you put up a very convincing defense. Huh? But you still end up here? They told me that it had to be him, sir. On that day, at that time, the detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly. No, but the videotape is quite clear. Ah, videotape? From the security camera. The crime, the crime, the crime, I swear to step out. It's there, it's me on tape. Do you know where they might be keeping this tape? For me to take without asking? And you wait until now to tell us this? God, you're so useless. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, sir. I'll hand over my badge. I don't deserve it. Yeah. No thanks, I have my own. Yeah, it's way better. It's way better than a police badge. I guess we better go check out the crime scene. Yep. I'm sure I will see you later in court. Oh, I had to go here. Number 23rd Police Station, Criminal Affairs Department. Hey, Mr. Wright. Look who's standing at the chief of detective's desk. It's police police chief Gant. Oh great. Hello, you look as great as ever. And you're sure this is all? You know what it means if there's anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. We check all of his drawers, lockers, garbage cans, bags, coat pockets, hats, under a seat cushion, behind his computer monitor, inside his personal coffee machine. <laughs> I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away, do you? <laughs> yes, sir. We'll scour the place again, sir. The chief of the detectives looks a little flustered. Ah, oh, right, oh my boy. How you been? Swim much? What's with you in swimming? I'm not going to swim with you. Oh, ho, ho, Chief Gant, I say. Reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? Just look how majestic he is. Oh my god, his theme. <laughs> Anyway, why is it Edward's fault? Um, is Edward going to be okay? Oh, Worthy. Oh, you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquisition. Yep, well, they've had no end of trouble with the boys since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you... You got someone else found guilty in that case, right, right -o. What? Why are you saying that like <laughs> I made it up? No, oh, God. <laughs> Every time I see Vaughn Karma from the front, it's the scariest thing. Why does he look so unnatural? Vaughn Karma. A legend he was, undefeated in his 40-year career. Yeah, until he met me, bitch. But in court, you fixed it, so he was caught for forging evidence. Wait, I didn't do anything wrong. He he did for evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Yeah, take that. Your stupid 40-year-old, 100-year-old man with no losses lost to me. Get wrecked. Take it up the ass. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what that inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for work. <laughs> you might be executed. What? what? Evidence room incident. It's downright odd, I tell you. The detective getting killed on their turf, too, I mean. There being the prosecutors, I assume. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. 
Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. Really? Is that what it's saying? Because as far as I've heard, the body's in one place. And... I mean, there's... The body's in one place! How can you know he was stabbed here and died here if there's no body here? What e evidence is this? Now, now, Raido. I can't give away all our secrets just like that. And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive and I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets. Can't stand them. I'm sure that is a fact. But you know... It's a full-time job, just keeping the chief of the detectives trap shut. Ah, uh, he was the one you were picking on earlier? Ah, uh, you saw that? Oops. I wonder what it was that he wanted the chief of the detectives to do. Forge evidence, I don't know. Let's see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. <laughs> like, right behind him? Alright, I guess we'll just try to <laughs> talk to him right in front of him. Oh, sorry you had to see that. Oh, what is it the chief of police want you to do? He's standing right over there. Could you just tell us? Well, see over there. That's good news, too. You wanted me to check for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing belonging to the head of Goodman is still here? Of course not. All except for this. What? You kept something? What is that? Sure, why not? Not important. You didn't even finish writing it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it has nothing to do with never count. But give it to me anyway. It's a lost item report, so you have to complete. A, a lost item? Did David Goodman lose something? Probably his ID card. The date on it is February 21st. Better make note of that just in case. Ever in document dated, can only be submitted to the chief police. Alright. Surely get back to investigating the police department crime scene. Oh, I need your permission? God damn it. I just need the permission of the guard. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Mm, well, I never thought the day would come when Rido asked me for help. I was wondering if we w could investigate the evidence room? No. <laughs> now, Rido. Actually, I'm sorry, I don't need to investigate after all. <laughs> Rido, please, do I look like a selfish man? No, not at all. Huh? Heck, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give them $50, no problem. I would like to borrow a hundred million bajillion dollars. So go ahead, investigate the room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. It just goes to show you never know until you ask. And for you here, you can borrow this. Uh, hey, is this a detective's ID card, isn't it? I already have one of those. This is a special card for guests, and all works it. Yes, sir, it's an honor. You just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. Bye. And now we'll never see you again. It looks pretty cool on my lapel, doesn't it? Just think. Real ID. You seem happy. I'm happy for you. Yes, sir. Because, sir, we get to go into the evidence from now, sir. This place is a bad influence on the girl. Yeah. Uh, let's get out of here. Now I can actually go to the stupid thing. I'm having to stop by stupid Marshall. Oh, no, I cannot. Okay, good. No, not in there. Exam. This. Den's room is beyond the door. Please don't step into the trap. <laughs> the obviously laid out trap. I have the ID card from Chief Gant. I just walk in. It won't open. Aha, uh -huh, the card reader's turned off, see? What is that security guard thinking? He's not here. Oh, finally! Finally! Howdy, partners. Well, well, what's made my bambina sky so gray? Hey, I have steak for you or something. Let me in. <laughs> Officer Marshall, why does that be him? Where have you been? What's that? Why does that be him? Look for? As you may have surmised, this here's my absolute. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw! That car you got there in your chest. That better. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw! <laughs> well, what are you stand there for? Get along with the doggies, the crime scene's awaiting. Beep. Looks like the card reader's on again. Thanks, dude. Glad you showed up. Well, while we're here, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. 
Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you hombres. What about for a steak lunch? You're busy then. Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Damn. I actually said you had no mind to tangle with us hombres. Yeah, don't lie to me. <laughs> let me just let me just give you the stupid steak. Take the steak, I don't want it here. That smell. Ugh, oh, reminds me of Texas. You have never been to Texas. Te does, Texas does Texas exist in this world? So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw special television the other day. It's from my baby. Uh, yeah, Miss Star. But what's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch. I see, I see. Yeah? I don't see? I don't know what it means. Steak lunch, give it to Officer Marshall. Alright, Bambina, you win. Ask me. <laughs> Finally, it seems like he's willing to talk. Yep, alright, what did you do? Guard station. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, but I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center told us. Oh, uh, that poor little doggy. Poor guy, I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Are you ever at your station? <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. Since I got demoted from detective two years ago. Well, it might not look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. Alright, fair enough. I can tell from all the alcohol. So, what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Jacking off in the closet. Well, I reckon I was galloping down the highway in the back of my steed, Zippy. Note, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. Yes. There's no need for people here anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't take two machines much. Kinda like that stewed broccoli they sneak in next to your steak, you know? What? Okay. Miss Hart told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. Just like everyone else. It was always, it was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler in the scene of the crime. It's all gone now. A drinking hole on a prairie, prairie fire. I know exactly what you're talking about. You're still investing in the SL9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. Can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? Anyway, you, uh, it was tax evasion, Emma. What other case would it be? <laughs> We've heard that name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. There are some things you're better off not knowing, Emina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago? The day of our case. That's right. The evidence transferals. Edrith was talking about the transferals, too. Uh, security system. I know what maybe two of the machines in here do. <laughs> I see you're the most qualified for this job. Only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, being machines, well, I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. The easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. They're like eyes, but somewhere else. <laughs> Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically raised every few hours. Most useless security systems in the whole world. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman are they on one of the tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard and you reckon? One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. I got one. Does, does the card reader by the door? The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. Can I have that? Oh. So this is the ID card record. 7777 at 420. Uh, one I don't recognize at 440. Another one I don't rec recognize at 450. Uh, 514, that's Goodman's, right? Yes, that's Goodman's. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sort man, mean I can't show you more than that. How about you just give me the paper? Uh-huh. 
I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. You think it? I think it might be a little bit. Mr. Ryan, I saw a number on that record just now. Isn't that number before? Maybe there's some way I can prove that record is tied to the stabbing. Yeah, whatever. That is sick. Sorry, but could you explain what this whole transferal thing is about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. We kept here under the presiding detective supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So what happened to the Evans after two years? It was to sleep forever in the underground vault at the county sheriff's department. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. I see now. I mean, I see now. Transferal is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. And that happened to SL9 two days ago. Interesting. Alright, look at this. See this? This is the victim's ID card. Uh, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is 5842189. Officer Marshall, show us the ID card record again. Officer Marshall, kid. Oh, I guess he doesn't know which IDs Matt go to each person. Alright, fine, fair enough. But still. There was an alleged murder in this room. I'm pretty sure the record of who goes in is a little important. And... Oh. The one that went in at 450... Also came out after Goodman went in. Interesting. Who is this 49895596, I wonder? I wonder, who's 7777? How, can you ask for custom ID numbers? Look, the fourth number, it's a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room? But wait, what did Officer Meekin say? Oh yeah, he didn't have his ID. Or, but he, I guess he didn't show it. Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked him to display his ID card. So you asked him to get him to show his ID card? What did he do? That's the thing, it's only pointed a knife at me. Huh. That's interesting. Why wouldn't he just show the ID if he had it? If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? Eh, he just gives off that vibe. Like, I want to stab you. I understand. Alright, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card right here. Thanks. Hombre. Good idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Good idea, but before that, uh, let's actually investigate the stupid crime scene for once. Ooh, how pretty. Number 23rd, Evans Room, Sector 3. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. Could <laughs> you just leave evidence on the ground? So, this is the Evans Room. Really, it's kind of like a graveyard. Maybe it's supposed to be have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. Nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. I bet there's ghosts in here. I'm a. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Did you slap him? Damn, Emma. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. Oh, why did you give me the balls? <laughs> I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts in the head, pal. Is that was true what I heard. What did you hear? Right, oh, please, do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow 50 and get the 50? No problem. So go ahead, and let's get the real yards and knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So, chief of police can't. We'll load anyone 50 bucks. Even me. That's what I'm saying. Oh, so that's what you were talking about? Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Boss for a day. But guess what? You got permission from the chief, so now you're boss for a day. Yeah, I don't want to do my job anymore. Do I ever do my job? You do my job. Gee, thanks. First of all, you'll want to have this. Edmunds room, floor plans, as a core record. Scene, okay. Can I look at said evidence? Okay, it is one L shape. Good to know. Do you have anything important to talk about? Sorry to have come to your boss for the day. That's right, it's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? I don't have any friends. 
they're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you gotta kick out the investigation. Again, I'm adamant though. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here too, Detective Gumshoe? Uh, of course. I am a detective after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? God damn it. Only you can open? Man, I'm sounding very masculine today. I'm Edgeworth. I'll always believe Mr. Edgeworth no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the inquiry committee now, right? Being executed? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, I know the case. You don't need to bring it up. Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident. Oh, never mind. Okay, I, I take it back. Sorry. <laughs> Go on. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about that the case. This place is, is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using, using their ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on my third card since entering the fours already. <laughs> I'm not surprised in any way. That sounds like a lie. Yeah, but even I can lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh, you mean your fingerprint? He's at the bell. Lock for each locker is coated with fingerprint. Oh god. So, so the only locker we can open is our own. Also interesting. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. That's a trick to the handles. There's a trick to the handles. See? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor. The wrong person touches it. Zap, you get a shock that kills you. <laughs> if that's what happened, my hand would be black and smooth every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Only the sign and tattoo prints can unlock it. Indicator lamp lights up when it's open. Alright, let's uh start investigating here. See a bloody print. Look, this one's open! The red ink here light above the door is lit! The locker is coated with the date of Goodman's fingerprints. So... It was... Probably Detective Goodman who came in here. Unless it was someone else who had his finger or something. Detective Goodman's locker. Are you sure it's like you leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. It's empty. Must have taken the contents elsewhere. Was the knife in there? Uh. Someone left a glove here. But only one. SL911. If gumshoot, maybe? There you go, pal. Make me out to be some kind of absent minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know. The case. You mean SL9? Listen, there, there was a, the case before, and it was called DL6. You can't just switch the case to SL9 now. It does have a tag on it. Alright. I have so much evidence. Can I dump some of this? <laughs> God damn. Wow, someone's have broken something big to make all these pieces. The head of Gumshoe, bro? <laughs> yeah, that's probably. You probably did the killing, did you? Here you go, but pal, make it be able to be some kind of hooligan. It's apparently from the case. I'm gonna slap you. The case? Emma! Emma! The SL. <laughs> the SL9 is it, pal. See the sticker from one of the pieces there? Another piece of SL9 evidence. Uh, I guess we'll take a closer look. Or what shape these pieces were in before whatever was broke. You want to try to put it back together? Sure, why not? Uh, good luck, pal. There's no job. That's no job for amateurs. Why, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. It's like, it's just a puzzle. You see? That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Do you now? Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. It looks like a vase. Oh, I really have to do this? Uh, how do I? Oh boy. <laughs> Gumshoe, I did that in like less than a minute. How are you? <laughs> now I see why the police don't do anything. Uh huh? Well, I think we did it. It's a vase with blood on it. But some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far two and two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. Yeah, whatever. Liar. Still, I did it twice as fast as you. 
Some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, it doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a weird ass jar, actually. I can't understand how it got broken. Unstable jar added to the core record. Is, are we gonna talk about the plot on it? Can I, like, uh. Look at this blood. Look at this photograph. Hey, look, they're hard to make out, but there's some dark red stains here. Mmm, looks like blood. Do you think they have got. Detective Goodman's blood somehow got on this when he was stabbed? Not likely. Blood looks like it's been here for months, maybe longer. Maybe blood from SL9. There was evidence in SL9. It might be when the blood got on it. Alright. Anything else that's cool? Oh, what? I can look at the bottom page. This is so hard to. Please! <laughs> H. Uh, there we go. Look at this hole. Uh, ah, this thing doesn't have a bottom. That's weird. Maybe it has a stand or something. I wonder which side is up. Better yet, what's the purpose of a bottomless jar? I don't know, decoration? This doesn't collect dust inside, right? Uh, good point, Emma. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Alright, I think that is all for this jar. Oh my god, I have like two whole pages of evidence! Please! Um, anything? Oh, what? Look at this again. Put these pieces together makes a jar. Two things that bother me. One, why are some of the pieces missing? Two, doesn't it seem a little unstable? And three, why is there blood on it? Water broke. Make sure you remember that next time I make a jar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's lock here. This is stuff with evidence, stuff with dreams. I'm sure about the dreams. It won't open. Do you really think it would? Hey, pal, security's high tech around here. If you do that again, you're gonna get shot. All right. Why might there be paint? What is this sawn paint doing here? Since the dawn of time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a funny response. True art has always been a war against oppression. What are you talking about? True art? I know that this blue and yellow paint here. Oh! <laughs> That's what he used to make the uh, the blue badger. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the blue badger. Yeah. Well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence room? God, you need a hobby. You need friends. Uh, okay. I guess we'll look at the elephant in the room. What's this? Blood? It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. Looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright! Yes, I know, I know. What if there are other bloodstains left in the room? You should use your testing fluid to check it out. Alright. Uh. Alright, there's that. I knew it! This is someone's right handprint! Wait, I didn't even see that. What's the matter, detective? This, this locker, it's mine. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was you. It's yours? Please. You have to help me when they come to take me away. <laughs> Promise you'll testify that I wouldn't have a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. It's already down on the floor plants. I'm counting you guys. Believe me. Believe me, you can't trust the police. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. But, but you're a detective. <laughs> All right, let's spray around. Uh, how do I spray? Spray, 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 spray. 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 There's got to be more here. I know there is. Oh, <laughs> I found all his giblets. That must have been uh, that must have been one massive pool of blood. I've never seen anything like this. I'm professional. What's your opinion, detective? Mm, pale blue blood. Oh my god, it's like, it's like anti Donga Ropa. Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of his locker. I'm making note of it in the floor plans. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you should have asked. 
All right. I don't think I was able to find any more. I guess I didn't examine this side. Uh, what is this? Something's sticking out here. Looks like a shirt. This must be heavens for some case. I wonder if Detective Gums you put this here. There you go, pal. Make me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That's it. I bet that evidence locker was open recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks and that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. Yeah, but you know, I don't think, I don't think the marshal's really uh crazy about his job right now. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like the tent of gum she leaves evidence hanging out a lot too. But he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat either. Yeah, what a swamp. You're gonna talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of him now. Uh, door. Wow, look at the big pile of junk in the corner. It looks like a car door. There's a pair. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy that caught with some sort of escape virus and he got away. Hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Oh, good shot. Better him than us. Yeah, that's what I like to say, yeah. Some sort of bulky equipment is gathering dust here. What a sorry looking fishing pole that is. Uh, that's my personal pole. I never did get around to using it. Wait, I've seen that somewhere before. Oh my god, that helped me solve <laughs> the case. Right, Bell, that's a metal detector. The one that led to the solving of that case out on Gordon Lake, remember? Oh right, wow, that feels like it was ages ago. It was like three episodes ago. <laughs> And, hmm, I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that, that's a bug sweeper. I'm sure it'll come in handy and solve in some case sooner or later. That cheap looking box? Can't judge a person or a machine by the cover, it'll look at their heart. It's a bug. Like, listening device bug? Or do you mean insect bug? <laughs> Is there blood? No, wait, not what I want to do. Is there blood over here? I guess I just check the locker with the stain hanging out. Oh, would you look at that? Why am I getting a reaction here? Who knows? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. I mean, I assume the other handprint was because he was like limping or something, right? Like he got stabbed in that corner over there. Using his right hand and limping out. This uh, just might be something significant. Hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What? What this? It's called luminol testing fluid. Why? <laughs> Why don't you know about it? Where'd you get your hands on that? Okay, you do know. <laughs> Why don't the police know about it? Did you invent luminol? Huh? How did it get subdued? I'll just borrow fifty bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. I better jot this down on the floor plans. Alright. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here uh, on the day of the stabbing. Uh, I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa! What? Do you know that other number? Please? Please? Oh, what is it? The, 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 that second number. It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Because if it is, I'll have to place you under arrest. Mr. Edgeworth. What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. What? What? But, like, the. Oh. Wait. Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I mean, that doesn't matter. That was like, it's like a full 30 minutes before Goodman. Who cares? I thought you meant the number that came in right before and left right after Goodman. Also, is this, is this only who enters? I guess it must be, right? Oh, huh. So that the other number came here 
twice. I thought it was them coming in and leaving, but it's different. And who knows who that 7777 is. <laughs> Von Karmas is probably 1111. Why would I truth have come to the inventory? Or 00001? Oh, now you'll talk about SL9. God, I'm gonna slap someone. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? A serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. Well, the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgewood built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgewood right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors? About forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Oh, huh? what do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? I, I thought it was Marshall. So, so, that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself. Hey, pal, look at the time. Was there something you needed to be doing? It just that Mr. Edgeworth Inquiry Committee should be let in out soon. I'm going to give him the, my report for that day. It might help you know. What? What is this? R report? You mean the note right on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing about no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you've got friends like this that have gumps you? Ain't that a fact? Good thing he's not my friend. I'm off out later. Alright, bye. You should probably see what Edgeworth has to say to you. Yeah, I guess I should go visit my husband. Can I actually go to the prosecutor's office and check? Hello, Edgeworth. Hello, my baby. My husband. I haven't seen you in so long. November 23rd, High Prosecutor's Office, room 402. Oh, God, not. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, guess. My apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met someone? Huh? You don't remember? I do. I'd rather forget, though. Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. Why did you hire him? Is that where it's here? There, standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. He's so majestic. Uh, looks like the committee went well. Right. He has the Hotel Brenham Tea Service. Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the District Prosecutor's Office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah, uh, yes, he brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? No. <laughs> Apparently a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Aww. Um, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. <laughs> Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. He'll pull through. My Edgeworth always pulls through. Not move, I'm a talk. So, how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evil evidence. But give me a warning, you were lucky this time, again. <laughs> you were lucky this time, again. For the second time, again. Lucky this, again? I've heard them say that so many times. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they're ever actually going to punish me. I'm going to start concealing evidence for real now. Ever since that case two years ago. So you want to, uh, you know, high five over tomorrow's trial? Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However, something happened. We gave control of the investigations over to the police department. Oh, great. The police department? Yes, any further investigation for this case will be directed by the Chief of Police Garant. How convenient. What a coinky dink. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you, why? All along I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still. Wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Looks like he needs a hug. Emma, can you leave the room for like half an hour? Uh, God, what do I present to you? I have so much evidence! I guess I'll start with the SL9. I know you, you've probably got hold of some information already, right? What's to do with that case you were on, the SL9 incident? 
some dark suspicions that you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. Let's be talking about his father's murder in that elevator. Okay, Adroth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Finally, I can get into this stupid allegation for forgery. Guess on the end, it was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time, Damon Gant. I swear I've heard that three different people were head of this investigation. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago too then. What? Another coinky dick. He was a top officer and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is why was the deputy chief of police in the investigation? I mean, is that, is that not what police do? <laughs> in truth, I use slightly more extreme methods than normal. Yeah? We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't? Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. I killed him myself. <laughs> Yes, I'll do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. Alright, you didn't really tell me anything. Which one is you? Alright, we already know. Alright, I better check this now. As I was saying, I... What's this? Record of ID card usage. Edward, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why, Mr. Edgeworth? Kill him, bitch. Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go by Chief Gat, no less. Man, you are, uh... Getting some flags being raised. <laughs> the Chief of Police? It's like he's involved in everything! He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it in here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? A I sixteen. It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief has never wanted to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbing, I brought this back here. Was he trying to frame him for this? I mean, it's weird how much of Edward's stuff is involved. Huh? Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It has nothing to do with the current case. Yeah, that's what people say about SL nine. Now I'm curious about this other case. No, I, I, I'm not. I don't want to know about AI-16. Better make a note of it. Unrelated evidence. Screw I read in the court record. Stubborn as always, it has nothing to do with the current case. I'll be the judge of that. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. My sister? What? If you were still studying forensic science. Huh? Y yes, of course. Why, just today, Mr. I and I were using this. Not even the police have it. I'm the only one who can detect blood. Luminol testing fluid. Well then, you might have use for this. What is that? Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints. Oh. I, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Edworth. It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. Ah, uh, yeah, you're a nerd. <laughs> for, for me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. No, we're friends. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really starting to love you even more. No need to thank you. Here, take your powder and this fingerprint files for everyone involved. I, uh, thanks. How about giving these detective gumshoes as well? Alright. I guess. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. You seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. <laughs> yes, I know where I'm going. Alright, bye, Edward, baby. Bye, see you later. February 23rd, Evidence Room, Sector 3. Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Uh, what about the other one? Here in this. Here in this blood on the detective's evidence locker. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. Uh, does it matter? A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that will have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Really? Just look for the one that has the most blood. 
Quit procrastinating and choose a finger. Uh, the, the thumb. I don't know. What was it? Was it a little dirt mark? Is that another print beside? I don't know. I missed it. <laughs> okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. I'm starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. <laughs> Let me get you another mini game in this last case. First, we sprinkle a little aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? <laughs> oh my god, look at what. With enter. With enter, you stupid Z. Wow, thanks. I will now press enter. Ah, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Huh? How do I do <laughs> How do I blow, Emma? With E, stupid. With your mouth. You just blow it, Phoenix. Why are you asking me these questions? Exciting, I know. Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. Okay. See? Wow. That looks like fun. Make It might take some getting used to, though. I don't know where these enter and E keys are. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. This is the basic fingerprint, Mr. Wright. I guess I better give it a try. Oh my god, this is crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Is this the peak of gaming? This is the peak. This is Phoenix Wright Gaming. Nothing has ever come close to this. Are you ready, guys? We're almost there. We're laid on thick. Laid on as thick as possible. Just make the whole screen white. Splooge. I mean, powder. And now we're in a blow. Oh, hey, I did it. Ah, you did it. You found one. But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Now that you mention, I guess it does it. It looks like a smooge. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. I think it means? I think you mean I, silly, stupid, idiot, slap, psh, Out of luck. The person who left this hat in print must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. We still got another whole handprint on the other locker. Hey, calm down. That's just... That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. Alright, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Look at the locker door again closely. Yeah, that. That little smudge. It seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm, fingerprints outside the blood. This, this little smudge here. Alright, let's do it again. And... <laughs> What, is that not good enough? Come on, you can clearly see it. Let me get some here, and some more up here, and oh, pfft. Really? How much more do you want, Emma? God damn it. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh, pfft. Yay, a print so clear, it's dazzling. You're welcome. D dazzling? Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet. It's quite a process. <laughs> I want to go home. I hate it. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint if you don't know who the fingerprint it is at Phoenix. Not knowing who the voter is, right? Yeah, she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. And find out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? You compare the prints, Phoenix? You can make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprints would be most likely to find the Zevin's locker? Uh, G Gumshoe? Isn't it Gumshoe's locker? Yes, it, it's Gumshoe's. Comparing 2, 5, 8, 10, 11, 12, and 16. Comparison complete. Match found. I knew it was Gumshoe. Aha! So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Why is your fingerprint so dirty? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess it's probably because I was thinking so what. Okay, so it came up with nothing this time, but it's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Yeah, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> I'm gonna do a joke, a joke, in a video game. Thanks, thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there's one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. 
I was going to, whether you said that or not. But that brain dead. This is where we got a luminal fluid reaction, right? Right. There's a handprint here. Okay. I'm gonna try using this. I was just another glove print. Got our eyes sparkling again. I mean, can there be prints on every locker here? These are all owned by people. I guess there's, this is a bloody one, so. Let's check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? You heard what the blood was wiped away, right? You only end up finding it using chemical means. I mean, prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? I mean, isn't that what you say? Don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Uh. I mean, can I just do 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 this? But I'm confused. What? Why would I do this one? Oh, I oh I see what they're saying. They're saying the blood was wiped, but the rest of the print should still be there. I gotcha. This one. All right, time for more gameplay. And <laughs> all right, and. Uh, and <laughs> print whose might this be uh not Gant I don't think not Meekins it's Marshall is it I think it's Marshall's comparing comparing her Comparison like complete. Match found. Oh. Wait. He was bleeding? And left a bloody handprint and then wiped it away. Hmm. Hey, these fingerprints, they. Whose are they? Who's? That's someone I know! Is it me? <laughs> it's Officer Marshall. Huh? Officer Jake Marshall? Interesting. That's gotta be coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. I'm. I have a feeling that everyone from two years ago is involved in some way, as we've seen. Emma. This is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. Luma reaction. Blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh. Oh. So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a wiped blood stain. But, but why would Officer Marshall? Looks like your investigation has finally turned up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. Is it? <laughs> I don't believe it. I mean, I know like five people are involved. Wait, how many people? Star, Goodman. Was, yeah, Lado was involved in the case two years ago. Marshall was involved. Gant was involved. And technically Edgeworth. Six people. And whoever's at the bottom left of that one picture we saw is not explained. Seven people. <laughs> I don't believe it. To be continued. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, so that was the second investigation. Crazy stuff. We have so much evidence. We have like three pages of evidence. And I don't know how it relates to anything. <laughs> I don't know how to keep it together anyway. But holy Jesus, this recording was like two hours long. It was so confusing. I because I I didn't know there's no way to tell when you're done with an area. You basically just have to go around like God forbid you leave an area before you're like you miss something in an area. Then you have to run around every place very slowly, making sure you hit everything every place. Only to go back to the other place and like, oh, I missed this one thing. Oh my goodness. I think I can cut out like 40 minutes from this two-hour recording of me just running around. But yeah, that's that'll be it for now. Next time will be the second part of the trial. I'm thinking we're going to have another investigation.
I feel like I feel like this is gonna be a three part trial and two part investigation. So yeah, that'll be next time. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and a comment if you did. And I hope to see you all next time. Until then, bye.